is Annis Karpenko. I'm an artist from North Atlee, Quebec. And the exhibition Stems and Stones is a compilation of my work uh, that, around the theme of rocks and flowers. Uh, the rock work came from a my love of the spirit of rocks and their place. Um, we had an excavation project around our house and ten huge rocks got pulled out of the earth and they were inspiring me over a year. And the body of this work started while I was doing my Masters of Fine Arts at Goddard College down in Plankton. I use a lot of texture in my painting and, um, and a different mixed media underneath to bring out texture. I was a weaver uh, long ago, so I, I have always been very drawn to different textures and different colors and layering and patterns within work. Yeah. I'm Holly Friesen, and this is Trip the Light, which is the name of this show. It's also the name of a road trip I'm just home from, two months on the road and 10,000 miles across North America, and moving through all kinds of diverse landscapes and scenery, which is the source of my paintings. So that's why I named the show that. My paintings are based on the landscape, but not in the traditional sense of the landscape. Not in the sense of making a pretty representational picture. There's a lot more going on out there that I am passionate about. And I try to convey that through the paint, through the energy of the place, through um, the textures and the colors and the shapes, those are what, that's my language. That's what I'm trying to commune, what, what the landscape's saying to me through those things. Um, this piece doesn't have it, but some of the others do. It's a spiral type shape where I collage in a handmade Japanese paper called washi paper. And so there's a, a spiral that's kind of hidden within the painting until you see it, of course. And that's one of the forms of texture. I also use a, a modeling paste to create different textures underneath and lots and lots of paint. The blacksmith building here that um, Mr. Safdie has given over to artists as an exhibit is remarkable. And to have the water of the river rushing behind over the rocks and have the work here, you can almost, it just suits each other um, so beautifully. Like a, these paintings, um, fit in this environment. It brings the environment into the gallery and it takes the nature, the natural uh, elements uh, from the paintings and puts them out into the uh, into the environment outside. You know what? I love this place. I They actually contacted me and I'm not that familiar with this area uh, but I'm telling you I'm going to come back for sure. It's beautiful this building and I've exhibited before in barn-like type buildings or older buildings like this and I find them exquisite for showing art because it brings art back to the level it's meant to be for the people, not this elevated, sterile gallery environment that intimidates people, quite frankly. Art's about life, and this place really gives off that vibe. I love being here.